I want to show this off to you guys because this is actually going to be a really good game coming up. We're going to probably get into alpha for this game. Um, so it's going to be really cool. I believe the developer is going to be here any second now too. So if you guys stick around for this real fast to uh, view this, just to see this real fast. It'd be awesome if you guys could do it, and then we'll play some more CSGO, but I want to show this off to you real fast. It's a, it's a game coming up, it's called Civcraft. It's excellent, excellent um, game coming up. I'm going to change my title. Just update that. All right, go cool. check. So check this out, guys. This is really cool, actually, coming up here. Hi, I'm Karen, and I'm here to present a new video game concept: Civcraft Legends of Alaria. Civcraft is a combination between a story-driven first-person RPG and a real-time strategy. On one hand, you can explore dungeons, meet different characters, and go on adventures. But on the other hand, you are the king of a clan who has escaped from a war-torn world into a new dimension, Elaria. So as you see right here, as the camera's going from third person, <laughs> hi Karen, the camera's going from third person to first person, here. oh sorry, first person to third person here, so Zooms your out. first task is to rebuild your kingdom to its former glory. To do so, you will need to build housings and specialized buildings for your kingdom to grow. For instance, a tavern is used to help spy on other kingdoms and recruit heroes who will follow you on your adventures. A blacksmith will build weapons and armors for your soldiers, and the barracks will help you to recruit and train new soldiers. Both you, your heroes, and your soldiers may become experts in one or all of the warrior, archer, or magician classes and can use a wide variety of skills and abilities, tools, and magical weapons to your benefit. As you become an expert, you will possess godly abilities such as destructive magic, deadly and fast combat moves, That's and cool even as hell. a hail of arrows that can hit multiple enemies. Some of these abilities can only be used several times a day, so you'll have to choose the right moment. Ilaria itself spans for more than 450 square kilometers and contains ancient locations for you to explore, as well as powerful artifacts, ancient texts, and precious minerals which will allow you to wield magic. Nice. These ancient locations are not easily conquered, as there are many strange beasts that defend dungeons, roam the land, or even raid your cities. As your kingdom grows, you will find that other clans have come to Ilaria, and not all will share it. You can choose to fight them, or to engage in diplomatic <clears throat> relations, which will result in increased trade, technology, and even new alliances. So just how so you guys kind of understand right now what's going on is it is literally a third and a first person game where in the first person you are basically adventuring in your own like your own character you're developing your own character in third person you're developing your own town and, and your clan and you're working towards building your kingdom back up while warring Sit other clans. Legends of Alaria is a sandbox game which means you can expand your empire or go on adventures anytime and anywhere you want. Future versions of Civcraft will include modding and multiplayer, as well as support for gaming consoles. Kind of, yeah, Ninja. Kind of like a good Civcraft combination. Civcraft Legends of Alaria was an ambitious project that had been under development for the past three years and is now a pre it's be a big video deal. game. As we are nearing the end of our development, we would like you to be the first to try Civcraft's early access, which will be published exclusively to our Kickstarter backers several weeks after our Kickstarter campaign. 
By taking part in this Kickstarter campaign, you will be able to play Civcraft before it's published, make suggestions, and vote for features and gameplay. But most of all, you will get more features and gameplay by helping us to reach our stretch goals. We're planning to add new content such as controllable siege weapons, I guess cavalry, so. Yeah, I guess so. Oblivion works too. And much more. Your pledge will boost Civcraft into a fast evolving video game genre with multiplayer, modding, and tons of features. It's the game before Skyrim. And also allow you to play Civcraft only weeks from the end of our campaign. If you want to know more about us, check out our concept video below, as well as our gameplay demo videos, artwork, and community. Join us and be a part of the Sipcraft project. So that's that's like the preview video, guys. I want to show you this real fast. Also, it's it's this is kind of a gameplay video that's gonna go more into detail about what's going on with the game. And this one, this one's really cool. Actually, it kind of takes you like through a day uh, if you're playing the game. Well, graphic-wise, you gotta understand that this game still it, it still hasn't been completely developed, and it's a it's an indie studio. So I think the graphics over time will probably be getting better. Right now, this is what they're working with. You know, it's kind of a basic structure um, until they get you know a little bit better. But they want to have something in, in like in place for it. So. Yeah, like I said, I think everything's just a placeholder until later on. I believe, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think we're going to be actually be able to play this alpha when it comes out in a few weeks, which is going to be really cool. <laughs> You're going to kill yourself? Why? The game's gonna be really cool, though, guys. It's, it's gonna be uh, something that's gonna be a lot of fun to play. Yeah, they did. True, but I mean, there's op optimization. There's ways to update the graphics without having to really do a heavy burden on on anything. <laughs> Jesus, Ryzen. Take off if you want. We can play another game in a minute. Let's be careful. Yeah, guys. Every NPC, by the way, has its own personality, its own traits. So as you're going along and playing, <laughs> I have to laugh. It's funny. Um, as you go along, everyone has different personalities, and um, kind of everyone has their own characteristics. Kind of like Skyrim and and uh, Oblivion. Yeah. Just like that, so it's gonna be really cool. It really is. Um, I'm excited for it. I've been I've been watching it for a little while. Like you could use another blade. <laughs> so as you see, this is kind of this is kind of um the single player aspect to it. Um, see, they're collecting resources for the kingdom, bringing it back to the kingdom, so you can build your kingdom up. Up here it says, up here it says that an uh, unknown enemy is approaching. So now, you know, people are getting ready because you're getting ready to get fought. So his army's preparing a siege. Hey, Jay! It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's actually really nice. I was going to show off the place in a minute. 
Give me uh, give me a second, Jay. I'm gonna actually show off the room that I'm in right now. I can't show off the whole house because the whole house isn't. Uh, my my camera doesn't reach that, but I will be posting on all of my social media. I will be posting a video to kind of go through the house. So, but uh, right now we're talking about Civcraft, which is a new game coming out that we're gonna be playing alpha in. This is the preview video for it, so you kind of get like a you kind of get like an understanding of it. So now see now the army's attacking. So now you literally everyone's gonna run outside and start fighting. So you see it's being sieged. It's actually gonna be really cool. So you're running up here. And now you get the, I guess you can take control of here or you can fight I guess in first person. Which is cool because like the little siege. Okay, so now you're in third person, and now you're kind of controlling like an RTS. Oh, Overwatch is going to be great, man. You're right. Um, yeah, so now you're kind of like in a, in a RTS. I see you have everything, all your basic elements of RTS is over here. Uh, your wood, your gold, I guess that's your iron, your silver, and um, I'm not sure what that is, but we can always answer that later. You have your tech tree, your diplomacy, your current events, your kingdom. And these are campaigns that they're running. So what's going to happen is every world's going to reset after a certain after a certain time for a campaign. So after you do that, after you beat you know the campaign, you're going to be able to earn rewards for your kingdom. Um, so over time, you know you won't be able to keep your kingdom because you have to rebuild it and you have to redo it. But over time, you'll be able to earn rewards like certain bonuses, like even cosmetics or stuff like that. I believe was what what I was reading. It's gonna be really cool. My blade is ready. For the empire. So here goes the RTS right now. Now you can go. So you just ordered your RTS now. Now you you're back in first person mode. Now you're ready. You're ready to fight. See, obviously the game needs some optimization because these guys are facing left when they should be facing forward. You know, stuff like that. Hey, Sweets Gamer, thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Welcome to the Troopers. You rock. There you go. See, now we're going to do this. They're going to come out here, you'll be able to fight first person. You know, you got all your magic spells down at the bottom there. And they're charging off to victory. Oh, that's third person mode. I'm sorry. You're right. Dude, you're right. Okay, so that's third person mode that that was in right there. But it looks very, very cool in my in my opinion, honestly. It looks like it's going to be a very, very good game coming up very soon. Um, do you guys have any questions?